I recently dissected my dissertation into four short blog posts which explored rap songs by Biggie, Kendrick Lamar, De La Soul and Lecrae. The question asserted at the beginning of the original dissertation was asking whether rap and subsequently hip-hop culture embraces or subverts the archetypes of black men. I went on to focus on the prevalent roles, or lack thereof, of drugs, violence, sex, masculinity, misogyny, mental health and religion in each song. The conclusion that I reached was that each artist cleverly intertwines facets of lyricism that both contort and conform to the various stereotypes of black men. In each song, there are clear typecasts presented, such as the overtly sexual predator, the criminal, the ostentatious narcissist, and the aggressive hypermasculine individual. When these troublesome archetypes are stringently adhered to, it is evident that internalised racism remains at the heart of the artist's psyche. Conversely, there are also progressive and wholesome representations of black men that depict them as intellectual and nurturing. In many respects, to understand hip-hop culture and rap music is to understand the black community. The vast topics covered in the subgenres of rap critique and comment on almost every historical, social and political element that standardised literature comments on. To ignore it and to categorise it as frivolous is to ignore a substantial part of the American culture and subsequently the American community. In short, it can be said that the black community's talented and tenacious nature is encompassed through rap music, which serves as a creative outlet that encourages them to flourish in a society that often stifles their advancement and normalises harmful archetypes. When it comes to rap music, there is undoubtedly more than meets the ear.